Welcome to AP Physics. I'm Kristen Pierce, and we have started our investigations of free falls. But we got a couple of problems. And the students are working to uh, determine that acceleration due to gravity. A picket fence, or that's what we're calling it, and then this is the photo gate. So when we drop it through, there's like a laser, I guess, that goes across, and then it can like detect when there's light, which would be the clear and dark. So then from there, we can calculate the gravity of how quickly it falls through the photo gate. Okay, go. 9.749. Many of our students, they're interested in engineering. Well, I actually want to be a physicist, so this class is uh, very important to me. I've talked to uh, some of our resource officers in the building who in their, their day jobs are the analysis for uh, car crashes and crime scenes and they use exactly the same math and exactly the same logic to figure out whether somebody was speeding. Engineers, anybody designing rockets or designing planes or designing even roads. When you're building a new uh, exit or, or entrance ramp, how much it can be curved. I want to build uh, buildings and design buildings as a profession, so it would be helpful to know what strength things would need to be in order to stay up. This class counts uh, SLU's dual credit. They call it physics for nurses, so it's dealing with joints, dealing with occupational therapy. I want to go into biochemistry, so I'm trying to get that credit out of the way. Later we'll learn more about waves and things, and we'll learn about the optics of the ear. Uh, so, it, so it also ties into biomedical as well as, as the more engineering kind of fields. The hands-on part is definitely fun but I think it's fun to also just learn more about how the world around you works. 